the value creation and manufacturing shifts increasingly away from the pure production and assembly type of activities towards, towards the activities where most of the value is created, which is in the, in the pre-production, uh, the design, the R&D phase, the prototyping phase here, and also the post-production activities uh, like uh, sales uh, uh, and marketing. We have to create within Europe a context in which the companies can be competitive, not only on the high end, uh, high knowledge, and so on, so on, but also on uh, other areas. Because if not, I think that the, um, the uh, goal of the 20% of the industry in, in, in 2020, I think it will be, it will be a, 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 difficult, a difficult goal to, to, to achieve. It's really possible inside the Europe to produce some things really with a competitive prices. I mean again Asia, of course, if there is no underground support from the governments, I mean from the Asia governments, you know. We are really for the, for the free economy, we are really for the, just I would like to say for the international trade, but we need to see inside the Europe where is a really international trade and real cost and where is a, there is a supporting schemes, different schemes for the, for the Asia. Very often we confuse diversity with differences. In Europe we are different, we have 28 different economies, unfortunately, from that point of view. What could be a strength of Europe being a diversity translates into weakness being differentiation, being fragmentation. Open and dynamic market is probably the main driver for, uh, for innovation. Um, and um, uh, we, we must, and, and competition will allow companies to look in all directions and, and find the, the, the best solutions and the best technologies, products to be placed on the market. There is no contradiction between regulation and business and growth, it's, op it's the opposite. Technology companies like to have regulation. The more regulation, or I mean, to a certain extent, at least on technology, the more regulation you have, uh, constraining people to invest into things that they will not naturally do, and in particular renewable or low carbon technology, the better it is for us, it's because it's a way to differentiate our offering from our competitors. Targeting 20% of GDP is not the right target. The target should really be to attract firms with high value added uh, activities here, which will support our productivity growth and external competitiveness here. And the instrument should mostly be the internal market here in order to provide the right uh, framework conditions here that would be uh, policies designed for all sectors uh, and all countries here rather than targeting particular sectors. A guy who leaves university in the US wants to be an entrepreneur, a guy who leaves university in Europe wants a job. And I think this is the crucial thing that I think we will have to address uh, because I think entrepreneurship is a clear uh, thing in which we will have to focus in the, next, in the next few years. To stay competitive when most of your industrial base, historical industrial footprint is in Europe or in OCD countries, you really need to run technology-wise faster than your competitor. If you, if you are not the best of the class in terms of technology, you're not going to be competitive on cost you, you, and you're going to be losing. We all know that probably Europe spends the biggest amount of money on the basic research. Europe is financing a lot of basic research. When we talk about R&D that is being commercialized, that is being translated into business activity, Europe is lagging behind ages behind other strong players in, in the world. We need to do more in the EU to strengthen the link between the worlds of research uh, and business. Practical rules must be more focused on the industry and it's impossible to give just the money to the universities for the, some R&D activities. They need to receive the money for the final products which they will create together with the industry. If we need competition, if we need uh, free market, of course we need also well-targeted uh, public funding for innovation. The main focus should be on demand-side policies, not supply-side policies. 
uh, we have focused for a very long time in, in the EU on supply side policies. How much more money can we get into R&D? How much more money, um, public money, can we spend on universities, etc.? This is not working. This is not producing the results which we want. The crucial thing is that we have a problem with uh, certain types of financing. Venture capital still is a major issue uh, in most European countries. And that is partially um, because we don't have the right financial sector structure, um, but it's partially also because when we are putting public money into these areas to try uh, to bulk out the funding which is there, we don't accept um, one of the, the fundamental tenets of innovation, which is failure.